What's up, you guys? Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Stuff. This is my third blog tour with Diva's Literary World, and this time I am um, reviewing a book called Before I Lay Me Down to Sleep by my girl Obsession. Um, first of all, I got to thank Lisa for letting me be a part of this tour, and thank you guys so much for just being, letting me be part of it. Okay. First of all, um, this book is deals with a lot. deals with forgiveness, love, heartbreak, death, um, cancer, you know, family, and it deals with a lot of secrets and past, too. Honey, I'm going to tell you, this book had me twist and turns. Like, when I got this book, I read the first sample chapters, and I was just like, damn, this book is going to be hot, honey. So I bought it, and I was just like, I got to read it, okay? Okay. So we start off the chapter. Um, the main character, Gail Washington, finds out she has cancer from the HPV she got from her trifling-ass husband cheating around on her from the STD he gave her. He goes, she goes home, you know, to tell him what's going on. Finds him in bed with her brother, openly gay brother Monroe. And Monroe, sad to say, does not have any remorse or regret. He's like, oh, guess what? Like, just bragging about it, like, because she wrote, he wrote his dingling and stuff. And I'm just like, you just foul. You just a foul person. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got cold, but he just that just made me want to um smack him in his face and like, ugh, whore. But anyway, then you have, on the other side, you have four characters. Nathaniel, Zaya, Morgan, and Raven, who have their own issues, why they are void in love, and why they, their characters are the way they are. And, you know, just a lot they're dealing with. Um, some come from messed up relationships. Some, some come from also childhood um Traumas such as abuse, um, and childhood, a lot of issues and stuff that they have to get over. So, of course, Gail Washington plays the love doctor and knows who's going to be good for who. And, honey, I'm going to tell you, drama does not refer because, honey, Zay and Nathan, Nathaniel go, bam, boy, they like cats and dogs, Raven and Morgan, hmm. And it's just, the book was just so, so good. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, at first, everybody is, was, like, really shocked at why Gail um, decided to just say, you know what, I'd rather die, but I want to do this before I go. Um, she has, depend, deals with how her parents raised her, so it's like, that comes into play. Basically, her mother was more tough on her and was more lax with um, the younger brother, Monroe. That's why, basically, Monroe did whatever he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, unfortunately, he has to suffer the consequences for a lot of things he did. You know what I'm saying? And like they say, karma does come back and bite you in the behind. And unfortunately, some karma you don't want to come back. But unfortunately, karma does come back in a way that you may not want it. That's why you got to be good to people. Um, I particularly enjoyed this book. This is actually one of my one of my favorites of the blog I read, and I am totally totally recommended for anybody to get this who loves urban fiction, who loves some romance in it, who loves you know dealing with pain, forgiveness, new openings, and things like that. Um, and it kind of helped me personally too with a lot of issues I was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like new forgiveness and stuff. Anyway, um, I will give you guys. Um, I just thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you guys for supporting a lot of authors. And I will definitely link the um book, but the link below for the book. And I'm definitely going to be linking Divas Literary World um links below as well. And I thank you guys for supporting Divas Literary World. I also thank you guys for supporting Books, Beauty, and Stuff as well. Um, I will talk to you guys later and ciao.